moves forward. Um, but uh, moving on to the news. Uh, so we have to start with the debate. So the presidential debate, the second presidential debate with the new candidate, right, uh, Kamala Harris. So presidential debate 2024 part two, now with 50% less old white guy. <laughs> Kamala- but you know what? All that did is it served to highlight who the old white guy, the guy is. Was. Who's the old white guy in the room? Hmm. Well, uh, not they, who's the oldest, whitest guy uh, in the room. That that's no longer the question the American people are asking. Well, yeah, Trump will still be the oldest. Um. Anyway, so the debate happened. Uh, you know, basically Kamala, uh, uh, Kamala, sorry, uh, Kamala did a great job. Uh, Trump struggled a bit, um, but. Fox, I mean, you knew it was Fox News was really upset, and they were trying to spin it as the ABC was being unfair. CNN basically said, oh, no, she did a great job. She won. So I just want to get this is a clip from MSNBC. They were basically over the moon because of this. So we're going to watch them celebrate for a second. Okay, Michael Steele, you were quite animated when I saw you in the hallway earlier about that I'm debate. Trying to be I'm trying to I'm going to see what you're going to tell me. You good. think of the debate that you told me in the hallway. What was your take on the debate, Michael? Still, go ahead. What was the key moment? She spanked that ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what she did. She came and she walked on that stage. Look, for me, this... It's one of those things that you didn't realize happened until about 20 to 30 minutes into the debate. Mm. And it's what everyone's talked about. And for me, it was the pivotal, most important moment of the debate was when they were introduced. And Donald Trump came out. And if you watch, go back. I tell everybody to go back and watch this. He comes out. He goes direct to the podium. He is not usually you go to the middle of the floor to greet your opponent. He went to the opponent, he had no intention of shaking her hand. She walked across the stage right into his space, stuck her hand out and said, Kamala Harris. First off, I'm saying my name so you get it right when you (laughs) say it, which he never said once during the entire debate. Mm -hmm. Two, he never looked at her during the entire debate. And that is, both of those statements are true. It was really sad, Um, he didn't, she had to walk over to him to get him to shake her hand. And she introduced herself to him. Now, why did she do that? Two reasons. One, because they make they mispronounce her name all the time on purpose. Uh, to try Because they think it's funny. I don't know. So, here's my name. But she introduced herself. The reason she did that is this is the first time they've met. They've never been in the room together. Now, that seems odd, right? He was the incumbent she was the the her biden took over right you'd think she'd have met him oh that's right he refused to say he lost the election and invite them to the white house like every other president before him i'm gonna add that there's another reason for her to say her name from a female's perspective that's a power move yeah because women women show me in your hate comments below (laughs) women in this country are cultured and in uh, plenty of other countries too but i can speak for where i grew up very much cultured to be apologetic for ourselves to play small to be smaller than the men were around Mm -hmm. her walking into his territory and saying her name that's a power move not Mm -hmm. only the walking into his territory but this is who i am and I'm coming for you. That is exactly what she said with that move. Absolutely. And it's a power move he gave her because all he had to do to avoid that was just be cordial, walk to the center of the stage, shake her hand, introduce himself to. Peter, just treat Furthermore, him. she made him look like a schmuck right out, right out of the gate. He looks like a schmuck. Well, he made himself look like a schmuck because he didn't do the, the standard thing. But right. if he yeah. treated her like an equal, he wouldn't have looked like a lesser. Right, right. And so he did that, yeah. and then through the whole thing, he never looked at her. Never looked at her. He squinted, he looked down, he looked hunched the whole time. Kind of thing, yeah. Yeah. And it was like, oh, he looked like an angry little troll for most of the debate. It was insane. And I don't know if this was intentional or not, maybe it was, but what she did, what I thought was really sharp, was the whole debate, every time she looked at him, it was either to laugh at him because he was saying something crazy 
Or she looked at him like confused because he was saying something crazy. Or she looked at him like she was pitying him because he couldn't get the words out. Because he was saying something crazy? No, because he couldn't even say it. There were times where he was just, it was just gibber. And it didn't make any sense. Then he was chewing on the words like he didn't know what to say. So it was kind of, I mean, it was bad for him. It was really embarrassing. Uh <laughs>